He's now as much a feature of Shoreditch as the architecture he seeks to depict. A street artist in the traditional sense, John Dolan seeks to open our eyes to the world around us. He arrived here following a history of homelessness, but his talent is now taking him to new places. God loves to try out, and I've sat here over the last three years with my drawings and all kinds of weather, and I've persevered. I haven't just sat here with my hand out, feeling sorry for myself. I've sat here and I've actually done something, and the feedback that I get from that, the positive feedback, is really great. Now his artwork is being displayed in the nearby Howard Griffin Gallery, and in a unique collaboration for this exhibition, other street artists have added their twist to a cityscape drawn by John. I ended up posting this print all around the world to some of the most famous street artists for them to actually collaborate directly onto the walls and John's cityscapes. And for a lot of these artists, it's a bit like fantasy street art. So they've all dreamt of being able to paint anywhere in Shoreditch and over all the skyscrapers and the buildings. So it's been a really interesting project for those guys too. One character who features in many of John's sketches is his faithful companion, George, the dog who sits patiently alongside him while he draws. He's my lucky talisman. He's, he's brought me so much luck. Um, I mean, I know it's mainly about me art, but this, the story uh, wouldn't be a story unless it didn't include him. John's art can fetch as much as £15,000. It's an income that's helped him build a home away from the streets. If I wasn't selling me pictures, then I'd rely on people's charity. But I'm in a financial situation now, stay there where I don't have to do that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. The exhibition opens tonight and runs for a week. It's called quite simply, George the Dog, John the Artist. Nick Thatcher, ITV News.